morning, it's Sunday morning. I was up really late last night, I was still looking at strategies for learning languages at about 20 past two this morning and forcing myself to go to bed. Anyway, I'm up now, it's about 10ish, and uh, still no word from the testing centre. I do not know if I have COVID or not, but I don't think I do because IB has had his test result and he is negative and he is the patient zero for me, you know, he's the one that's had contact with the other guy. So if he's negative, I'm absolutely sure I am. So that's all right. The weather is looking like that, a bit grim and murky. I'm rather hoping to take Isabel out for that ice cream late this morning before she heads off back to Cardiff. She's insistent she wants to go and buy some clothes for herself, there's something specific she wants to get and the shops shut earlier on Sundays. But I need to go shopping and I am. I'm going to go to Asda today, I'm going to walk there with my trolley and fill it up with things unless it absolutely empties down and then I might go to Tesco because it's closer. Anyway, you know me, I'm going to drink coffee and work on last night's vlog for now. Full strength caffeine because I ran out of decaf. <laughs> Probably another reason I was still up studying at 20 past two. Well, test results in. Do you see what I see? I've had a bit of time to digest it, which is why I'm not freaking out. Uh, there we are. I'm glad I didn't go out on the rampage yesterday. Boyfriend is continuously tested negative. His PCR that he did on the same day as me came back negative. I don't know where I've got it from or if I've got it from him and his is a false negative or he had it and now he doesn't or uh, I don't know we've just been on the phone trying to go around every possibility of where it's come from and I'm thinking did I get it from B&M when I went to buy toilet roll but I tell you what I am very glad that I was extra careful yesterday and didn't go in any shops didn't go to the post office didn't go and get ice cream in a cafe with Izzy I'm asymptomatic although since I've had the result of course I'm starting to imagine that I've got a runny nose and a bit of a cough but I'm clearing my throat a lot but maybe that's just the shock Oh my goodness. Didn't expect that, did we? I wouldn't have known. I tell you what, if IB hadn't had a contact with COVID, I wouldn't have tested, I wouldn't have known. I'd have just carried on living my life. I'd have been on the train tomorrow, going down to Cardiff, because I was going to go to Cardiff tomorrow and I was going to go on to IB's later. I was going to do a day's work in his office the following day and, you know, just mix around, <laughs> live my life. Yeah. <sighs> Anyway, well, presumably I'm just going to be asymptomatic, fingers crossed, because I've had the double jab. I can't believe this because I literally survived a whole week with Isabel. Well, survived, you know, the whole of Isabel's confinement period with COVID and didn't catch it then. So, oh, I don't know. It's really high in my area at the moment, though. It's as high in my area now as it was at the, the last peak of the last wave. But now the hospitals are not overwhelmed, they, they're not struggling at all, so that's really encouraging news. But anyway, oh, I've run out of food. <laughs> I've run out of thin toe and decaf coffee. <laughs> I'm going to do an online shop, but I need to make a few phone calls and send some texts first to, you know, update people that need to know uh, sometime later. I've ring my dad. I have tried to ring my mum and sent her a text because she wasn't answering. I've messaged a few people and made a second cup of coffee, but it's a bad idea because it's full caffeine and it's going to blow my head off. Um, I am going to go and register the test result and then wait for all the flipping pings to come in from Track and Trace and go through all that again. Isabel's not delighted with the situation, but it is what it is and I am going to get an online shop to come for as soon as possible. I uh, might need to get an Iceland shop, but they don't do decaf ground coffee. But they might be the quickest to deliver and I need speed really because I haven't really got much in. In the way of perishables and zero fruit. But I have got loads of tins. I'm not going to starve. Loads of tinned stuff and loads of frozen stuff. So it's absolutely fine. I'm going to go and sit in my bed and mope and register this blinking test result on my phone. It's easier to do it on the phone app, but it's gone really dark. Look. Oh, that's better. <laughs> oh, that's done. Look, nine days isolation because it's taken it from when I did the test. Oh, it's a bit later now. I don't actually know what time it is. I treated myself to a very, very long bath and I don't usually do that, especially not in the day, but I did today. I felt like I needed a bit of processing time. I have ordered a massive, well, no, not massive, a medium-sized 
Iceland shop to come today between five and seven. Izzy is going to go down and get it so I don't have to contact the person. And tomorrow I've got an Asda. See, I wanted Asda really, but they didn't deliver today, but Iceland did. I had to pay an extra six quid, mind, but under the circumstances, I thought it was worth treating myself. So I've got all manner of treaty things coming, mostly from Asda tomorrow, and some essentials coming today. Can't get my decaf coffee till tomorrow, though. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, the wind is... It's well and truly been taken out of my sails today. Mm. Oh, and I decided I wanted comforting, so I've got back into my pyjama bottoms. But the top half of me is dressed. <laughs> it's about ten to four now. I must admit I'm starting to feel a little bit sore throaty and a little bit sleepy. I woke up this morning sleepy and felt like I hadn't had enough sleep I should have done, but I think it might just be because I was so stunned by the result this morning but I think it might have dulled my appetite just the fact that I was like ah, uh, like jolted you know um, but I'm not really feeling hungry but I think I might just be feeling under the weather because I'm hungry <laughs> so I'm gonna eat some soup I've got look lentil soup oh I've got mushroom soup I'll save the mushroom soup lentil soup I'm gonna have microwaved unless I perk up dramatically after this food which I might I'm gonna have a nap <laughs> until Iceland comes. I've added the last Emmental slice all ripped up and stirred it in. Right, I'm gonna go and tuck into that now and get my head down for a bit. The online shop is here. Isabel's um, got it for me. I see you're in your pyjamas as well. <laughs> I suppose not. Um, I did buy myself some beer since I was having a delivery, but I think I'd probably better give that a miss for a bit, to be honest, in case I get ill. Right, I'll lay it out and show you what we got. Isabel's helped me to lay it out. So, yeah, it's, a, it's only a small one. I and mean, this was this was £47 worth, including the beer. The beer was a tanner. But actually, the main thing that I really wanted to come today was squash. And it didn't come because it was unavailable. But luckily, I've ordered some to come with Asda's tomorrow, but only a small amount. Anyway, treated myself to some lollies. I haven't had them for ages, but I was like, oh, I've got COVID. I'm having treats. So, blackjacks and palm violets. Got to get some Greg's things in from Iceland. You know how it is. So I've got the vegan sausage rolls, cheese and onion bakes, and for Izzy, the mini sausage rolls. Of course, I need to have Izzy food in now this week, don't I? Because she's not a granddad's. Bourbon creams, Izzy likes those. Oh, this is for you, honey. Thank you. <laughs> Ordered them for her. I got her to choose a treat when I was ordering this morning. Peppers, I've got more. I have more peppers coming tomorrow with Asda, but she eats so many, so got to get plenty of peppers in. We've got Iz home. Broccoli, spinach. For me, because Izzy doesn't like spinach. Free range eggs, mushrooms, cheddar. Apples, these are actually a substitution for Braben. Lots of spuddies, because I want to do some real chips again in the Act Fry, because they were so good. Um, some really, really ripe squishy brie. And some cow's milk, because Izzy really wanted macaroni cheese the other day, and I didn't have any. Now I do. I did have a little bit of a sleep, and I kind of... I became aware of the sound of the van outside, so that kind of woke me up. And Isabel went down and, and dealt with it for me and brought it all in. Health-wise, I'm feeling like now, like, you know when you're in school and they make you do cross-country in the winter when it's really, really cold, like, so cold that you can see your breath cold, and afterwards your lungs feel a certain way? Well, it, they're feeling increasingly more and more feeling like that as the day goes on. And I am getting a bit of a sore throat and a, just a little bit of a... I know, a bit of discomfort around there. I do feel a bit sleepy, but other than that, I'm okay. <laughs> and now I've got more flipping carrier bags. Oh no. Okay, it was a total of £42.92 because they took the money for the squash off. £10 was the beer and £6 of it was a delivery charge. What's that, bags? Oh yeah, 80p for bags. I ordered bananas and easy peelers. They're definitely not here. Hey, it's nice to see the non-plastic packaging on the apples. That's good. I approve. I've popped all that away in the cupboards. Fridge and freezer. I'm going to have an apple and a cup of tea in bed now and see how I feel. Hello, it's much later now. I've been having a very restful afternoon. Isabel's cooking me dinner. I think it's about 7.30 at the moment. I've just been watching Pippa's vlog over on the Worms Eye View channel in my bed. Being very cosy. I don't feel too ill. I do feel a little bit weird. 
as described earlier, I've been going through my footage. I'm going to have to cut out a lot of things that I kept repeating. The amount of times I told you that Isabel was dealing with the Iceland delivery for me. I think I said it about four times. So I'm going to have to get a notebook and decide which one to keep in. I don't normally do that. You can tell I'm a bit stunned today. Now, speaking of darling daughter, we don't think she's legally obliged to isolate. But we've both made the decision, Izzy and I, that she's going to stay in. Because it just seems insane. Like, one, there's no way we're going to send her down to my dad's to stay with him and go and potentially infect him for a start. And she tends to stay with him when she's going to college anyway, because it's closer. And also, we don't want her going on public transport every day, potentially taking COVID. And also, we don't want her to go and seed her college class, because... They'll all end up getting it, or well, they might do anyway, you know. Um, she said that one of her friends has been in this situation as well. He's double vaccinated and his sister came down with it. And he, out of respect to everybody, decided to stay in as well for the first week of college. So she's not alone in doing that. So, yeah, we're just going to hunker down and weather the storm and brave it out at home. Uh, anyway, she's making me pasties and years ago... Izzy and I bought um, some box sets of Star Trek Voyager and we only got up to a certain point with it and she says she's been wanting to know what happens next for years and years when the Borg come and do some great threat to the starship or something so she's found it on Netflix so I think quite a bit of our isolation period is going to be spent watching that together on the sofa downstairs so she's gonna give me a call in a minute for dinner being ready and we're gonna go down and watch that together so that'll be rather nice oh i feel so loved and pampered look she's made me a salad and a pasty i specifically said i didn't want chips so uh yeah because that would have been too much and this way you know can I have a nice lolly i would just like to say it's not my fault that it's burnt because on the thing it says 30 minutes and i put it only in for 26 and it was Burning. It looks delicious. It's the instructions, not me. <laughs> Izzy is going to put Netflix on now, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Yay! <laughs> it's about quarter ten at night now. We've been sitting watching the very first episode of Star Trek Voyager, which was an hour and a half long, <laughs> until pretty much all this time where we did a bit of chatting after it finished too. I'm feeling pretty much the same, a little bit sore throaty, a little bit glandy, a little bit tummy achy and a bit sleepy but other than that I'm okay as you can see. Nothing major to report so I think I'm going to log off the vlog for now, for tonight and if you have enjoyed today's video <laughs> would you please give it a like because it helps the channel to grow, I really appreciate that and if you're new here and would like to follow more of my story do hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!